physique, or I'm sorry, the very first men's physique champion, Mark Anthony, is actually Canadian. So he is the only Olympia winner out of the country of Canada. Dave Palumbo's new baby must be asleep. <laughs> exactly. Well, this is what these guys come here for. It looks like they're having a good time up there. They're out of gas right now. It's a long, long weekend. You can see Rollins a little bit defeated. A year ago, he had a little more pep to his step, especially when he came to the pose down. But uh, Hottie's bringing the rhythm. He'll probably be in the club a little bit later on. Next to the blade, Jackson, top five again. Good grief, 20 years in the making. Well, Steve Weinberger really put him through the paces, didn't he, Neil? Yeah, he definitely did. But as I said, Dexter, this is not the best version of Dexter, but this is better than last year, and that's massive respect. And I, as I said, I think he's the greatest bodybuilder of all time for, for what he's achieved and how long he's been in here, consistency, all those titles. Yeah, definitely the record does bear that out to be a fact. Well... I'll tell you this, Brandon Curry has all the confidence of a new Mr. Olympia champion, to be sure. When they're done going at it head-to-head, -head, we're going to go to a break as they make their way to the diagonal, and then we're going to find out who is our 2019 Mr. Olympia champion. Well, don't discount look what William has brought. I mean, he's not at his best, as Neil alluded to, but you're only as good as what you're standing next to, and uh, this contest is going to continue to be decided at the 11th hour. Right after the break, we're gonna find out. They're sharing the stage right now. A lot of times, Tim, and you haven't never experienced this, uh, Neil, you either, I'll talk from experience. <laughs> During the pose down, these guys wanna to try to please both sides of the stage. They're moving from one side, posing up close for the fans with their cameras and cell phones, which they didn't have when I was competing, and working the stage the opposite side so these act, uh, fans can get close to the action. For me, from the pre-judging yesterday, I had William slightly in front. Then I had possibly Brandon and then Hattie. Um, that being said, I feel... All right, here we go, folks. The results are in, and we are going to awards. Presenting the fifth place award, Zach Ziegler. Zach, please take the fifth place award, the check for $40,000. And presented to Rui Winkler. Gentlemen. Well, there you have it. The, the, next, the vampire is still alive. The 49-year-old was not fifth. Well, that's the question, Neil. You know, did Roley drop that much, or did Dexter improve that much? You said Dexter's a better version than he was a year ago. I feel that uh, Dexter's made improvements uh, since last year as far as that conditioning, and unfortunately, obviously, Roley has gone backwards in that area. Um, sure, not from the lack of effort and hard work, but unfortunately, you miss your peak and it can hurt you come contest day, and obviously this is proven here. All right, Kevin from Omax will present the fourth place award. Please take the fourth place award, the check for $45,000, to our fourth place finisher, the play, Dexter Jackson. Ageless. Absolutely incredible what Dexter continues to do. And with that fourth place finish, I got to tell you, this guy's probably going to be back next year. It's hard to walk away on top. I left on my final two Olympias was in 2000, 2001 in fourth place, and I was done. I think Dexter has just got validation that he's still got more gas in the tank, and he will be 50 if he comes back next year. You can't be disappointed with a fourth place. That's remarkable. 
knowing how many shows he did this year and knowing that he wasn't at his normal peak, the blade condition, you know he's got gas in the tank to come back for first, second, or third another time. Yeah, I definitely think this helped him. Not Randy to do Lloyd, from Performix, presenting the third place award. Well, he didn't have to win this to still have gas in the tank. He could win other pro shows. Randy will take the third place award, the check for $100,000, the Olympia bronze medal to our third place finisher. Hadi Chupin. Wow. There it is. Hadi Chupin in his very first Mr. Olympia winds up getting third place the bronze medal, which is definitely a victory for him. But again, we were talking, Neil, about William improving a little bit more than the other day. So is this a valid? justifiable position for Hottie Chupin. Yes, I think it's, it's apples and oranges. Different physiques. Different physiques. I feel that Hattie's more at a level of condition and fullness and wide latch, wide shoulders. Obviously, that's an area that William genetically is obviously just narrow in the clavicles of the shoulder area. But um, it's strong finish, strong, strong place. And Gentlemen, in Olympia tradition, if I can have our two absolutely. finalists in the center, please. It was close between those two. That's where the contest really was. And have both presenters on stage, please. All right, Jake. Jake Wood presenting the second place award. Dan Solomon, Chief Olympia Officer, along with Jim Mannion, IFBB Pro League President, will present the first place award. Jake Wood from Wings of, Wings of Strength. Dan Solomon doing a great job this year in the first year as his Chief Olympia Officer. William Bonick with gas in the tank. He could upset the apple cart. The here. next name you hear will be our 2019 Mr. Olympia. the winner of the Olympia. Please take the check for $400,000. The Olympia gold medal and the Sandow. To our winner, Brandon Curry is your 2019 Mr. Olympia, the 15th in our 55-year history. Brandon Curry doing exactly what he said he was going to do when he won the Arnold Classic, which was come to Las Vegas and win the Mr. Olympia. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And he did just that. And William Bonick surprised a lot of people here tonight, Neil. Yeah, every single one of those athletes have to walk away being happy with what they've, what they've achieved as far as their places. Brandon's obviously the new 2019 Mr. Olympia. William coming in second, the first time he's come second, he's come third, he's come fourth, so he's moving forward in the right direction. Dexter Jackson's moved up a place, got one year older. I think we're living in an age right now where this is not going to be a dominant Olympia run here because all of these guys can take turns in the next three to four years winning this championship. That really would be fun to have that kind of openness every year to battle it out for the top spots. I just remember William, Hadi, Brandon, and Rody, they're, they're still young in the industry. That's right. Absolutely. And they got a lot of gas left in their tank. And we could be seeing these guys for a while until some of these newer, younger guys catch up with their maturity. So right now, Brandon Curry stands $400,000 richer for the effort in his joint fraternity of 14 legendary bodybuilders. He will forever be remembered in the annals of bodybuilding by the acquisition of this Sandow Trophy in the 55th year of the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia weekend. And I'm going to begin for your runner-up, William Bonin. And you can clearly see on Brandon's face that he ain't surprised. He put All in right, the work, Brandon, and this is what he expected. Big, fat check right down on the ground. Gentlemen, your favorite pose, please. Yep. 
I'll be seeing Brandon Curry in a couple weeks as he's guest posing for the first time as Mr. Olympia at the Daytona Beach Classic. And then right after that, I believe November the 2nd, he will be at the Romani Romania Wings of Strength Championship yep, as a right featured guest poser. Howdy. And oh, man, November 23rd at the Sean Ray Hawaiian Classic Gym. So he's oh, already got a busy, very busy schedule. And I want him to bring that medal and the trophy with him back home to Hawaii, which is where his wife is from. He's got uh, four kids. He's got some right, in-laws out there in Hawaii. The They're going to be Three, really right excited. There. Uh, Three, stay there. Howdy, stay right there. I have to feel very happy for the promoters like yourself who locked him in before he became Mr. Gentlemen, Olympia. Your favorite pose. I like a guy with confidence. When he told me in March he was going to win the uh, Mr. Olympia, I said, hey, you're coming to Hawaii. <laughs> Howdy, Chupa.